Guys, you might be asking, Josh, why on earth are you looking at another picture of Up? I can talk about a brand new leaked character, and it is Kevin, the beautiful bird, and Russell. So it's fantastic. It looks like with this anniversary update, they've done a big up push, and these are new characters coming out soon. So obviously we've got Kyle, he's been out for a while, and I've also done a nerf video with Ethan, which will be coming out tomorrow. But I wanted to talk about the brand new characters and kind of continue my leak series. The past three days, you guys have been bopping the video on views, guys, due to the new characters and stuff. So thank you all for that. So let's jump straight into this, right? So we're looking at Russell and Kevin. And I'm quite excited for this because Up is one of my favorite films of all times now if you do want to look at this website yourself and not just rely on me updating you really late when characters get leaked you can just go on to wack2.github.io and it's there or just google disney heroes battle mode wack2 and it will come up guys no problem so um let's just get a bit of a zoom in here and now we can look at the skills so obviously there's no artwork for them yet that's why i've got this really low quality gif up for you guys to see so I obviously wanted to break down here and take a quick look and see what we've got. So, obviously when I tested Carl out the other day, guys, I have to say he is absolutely crazy. Now, I will quickly go over the contest towards the end, guys, but there wasn't too much to go over where it was a server-wide contest. So that's kind of why I ignored it this time, because everybody's going to complete the server-wide contest without any issue, guys. Some relatively good rewards. 500,000 is the best of all that you're going to get. Yeah, brilliant. But anyway, so Carl is absolutely ridiculous. And I mean that from the perspective like when he does this weird like shout move and you just see like everybody die. So I'll show you here. Right? I just have all these cats. I'll just keep them alive for, for, for the fact when I do these um, types of videos. But you can see here, right? So I've put on speed up. He comes in on his stair lift, which is fantastic. And then he'll do his like, he'll shout like that. And you just saw that it did about 6 million damage to everybody. And then he, he'll throw, um, I was going to throw the dog out until he got knocked. But yeah, he shouts again. Um, loads of damage. So it's just kind of that mix of moves is really cool. Where he shouts, um, it does loads of damage to everybody. He throws the dog out, that does loads of damage to everybody. So you can see that he's a, he's a very, very good tank. But he's also very good for AoE damage. And also if you are looking at a kind of silence team, boom, you're laughing. So... Let's take a look and see what we've got. So, Wilderness Call. Russell cheers while Kevin, which is obviously the bird, fluffs his feather and screeches into the sky, healing themselves and... What? Does that say 24 million HP? Okay. So, anyway... He heals himself and everybody. That's going to look so cool. Just going to see Kevin like flying around. Everyone heal this way gains skill. Okay, he straight off the bat has now instantly become the best medic in the game. Hands down. Yax, goodbye. Joy, goodbye. Kevin, hello. So, so okay, he's basically he heals everyone to max health. And everyone who is healed also gains skill power, which is ridiculous. Basically, everybody's specials are going to do more. And that's a lot more as well. And fantastic crits. So that would work really well with Mulan because she does a lot of fantastic crits. And her skill power go up. So say you use that before Ian uses his lightning, guys. You're going to see Ian's lightning rain terror. And I mean absolutely shred everyone. That's going to be fantastic. Then we've got Chocolate Craving. Russell throws a chocolate bar to the ally missing the most HP, healing them for X amount of, X amount of HP and energizing them for 14 seconds. Al Al I can't speak, he's so OP, it's like possessing me. Allies energized from the skill receive 100 extra energy each time they perform a basic attack. 100 extra energy. 100 extra energy. I think it only takes like 500 energy to activate a special. That is ridiculous. Mm. 
No. I refuse to let this character into the game. Then we've got Bird Peck. Kevin pecks the closest enemy three times. <laughs> dealing damage with each peck and applying Shatter for 8 seconds. Shattered enemies take 8% of their max HP as true damage each time they're dealt fantastic damage from energy from an enemy. So basically what we're going to see here is all of these characters which you've buffed up with skill, power and fantastic crits. Every time they're, they do fantastic damage, it's going to just knock off just a little bit of extra health. 8% extra, 8% extra, which is mad. But that's not, logically, you know, that doesn't mean after 8 hits they're going to die. It takes off 8% of their max HP. So the less HP they have, the less damage you're going to do. The more HP they have, the more damage you're going to do. So it's quite cool, but that is very, very ridiculous. Skills that deal damage over time can only trigger Shatter once per second at max. That's pretty cool. So if you were to form a fire team, I mean, once per second is still ridiculously overpowered. Like, there's no questions about that. Once per second is still absolutely mad. So, it doesn't really even matter too much. That's pretty cool. Now we've got Friend to All. So, it's a purple skill. Allies heal X amount, of H H X amount of HP each time they trigger Shatter. True damage on an enemy. Russell and Kevin can heal themselves by triggering Shatter. So, basically... You just gotta have a team with Shatter, but I can't think of anybody else who actually deals Shatter. But obviously, what that's saying is, uh, my cat is going mad. <laughs> so that's saying, so guys, what that's saying is that every time he activates his peck move, which then allows people to Shatter, um, what that's gonna do is potentially heal Russell. And also heal the character who's hit that one first and done the fantastic damage. So you've got quite a loop there of healing potential, which mental. It is mental. Like I said, we've got a good loop of healing potential there, but just bonkers. And then we've got his red skill. I mean, how can this character get any better? Chocolate Craving now heals allies near the initial target for X amount of HP. The additional... Oh, God, that's ridiculous. Become energized for six seconds, so basically the same as the other move, but it does it in a group, which is quite cool. Additionally, enemies have 200 enemies. No. 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 Enemies have 200 energy removed for every three times they take damage from Shatter. Come on, that is unacceptable. Energy removal has a chance to fail against enemies above level 240. So then you get your additional stats. So, I don't know what to say about that, guys. I do not know. That is bonkers, the amount of damage that's being done. Then we've got friends. Basic it so um, obviously with Huey Dewey Louie. Basic attack still bonus fantastic damage for 10 seconds after using bird pack. Ridiculous. Russell and Kevin gain 75 10 75 to attack speed after using bird pack and then just general skill power. Brilliant. Carl. All healing skills from Russell and Kevin apply 100% of their HP healed as a shield to allies affected by curse. Shields uh don't really care about that. I think that one there is fantastic. Fantastic. That is mental. I I don't know what to say, guys, apart from bonkers. That's what I, I think that is all I've got to say, guys, is absolute mental how good this character is going to be. Absolute crazy. I'm very excited to get hold of Russell. I'm very excited to see what it's going to be like. Him and Carl in a team just seem like it's end game. But yeah, that just seems ridiculous, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. So let's take a quick look at the event to round up today's video, guys. So obviously, um, I'm always quite excited, especially when it's a server-wide one. Because normally by about Friday night, we've completed it. So let's take a quick 
compatible in this how the scoring works. So earn surge tokens, just play the surge, spend gold, just spend gold, City Watch Epic, play City Watch. Oh, it's a chef, it's the battle of the chef, chef. It's the battle of the chefs, guys, which is awesome. So Gordon Ramsay would be proud. And then we have progress. So we've got these a million points here. We've got 80 for, um, uh, here he is, Hobbs, Hobbs, Swedish chef. And then we've got 300, 300, 300, which is banging. Then we've got 750,000 points for the 16 red skill crates and the cosmetic crates there. But the one I'm most excited about, I'm very happy it's um, half a million because we should get here no matter what, guys. It's getting all of these beautiful mod upgrades and then 650,000 mod powder as well. That's pretty ridiculous. And then the ranks are relatively good as well, but I won't be seeing any of that. So obviously it is a server-wide contest. So I'm very excited to see this in action. So guys, do not forget to, to smash that like and subscribe button. And I will see all of you beauties in the next one.